Hey, how's it going? Back with another one minute tutorial. Today I want to show you the opposite of what I showed you yesterday, which is to take two mono tracks and make them a stereo track. Now in Pro Tools, if you have two mono tracks and a stereo channel up there, you just drag them up there and they become stereo because in Pro Tools, each track has a specified number of channels. In Reaper, it's a little bit different than that. What you can do is choose this action if you have SWS extension uh, installed, which is implode items to takes and pan symmetrically. So if I hit it, I'll get this. So it took two mono tracks and it panned them symmetrically. So one hard left, one hard right, uh, which is fine. And you can move this around. This is essentially a stereo file, but it may not look the way that you're used to it looking, right? So what we can do is now I can take this item and I can glue it. And now I got a stereo track and it plays like a stereo. So obviously again, I can make a custom action from this and it's called mono to stereo, implode items to take and pan symmetrically and then glue items. So if I just run this action, boom, I got a stereo item. You can make this a toolbar icon or you can just make a hotkey for it. So that's it. If you have any questions about Reaper, Pro Tools, Logic, whatever, just send them to me. I'll make a one minute tutorial in one day. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.